Today is a very big day for us, as our car is being changed into a true solar car. As you know, we already had 60 solar panels in the back of our car to charge when we are standing still. Uh, but today, solar panels are installed on the hood of the car, on the rooftop tent and on the rooftop box. So, yeah, it's a very unique process. Uh, Jules, maybe you can tell a bit more of what you do at Mito Solar? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm from Mito Solar. Um, we are a producer of custom solar modules. So we make solar modules to any shape uh, to fit in any application, often on moving objects. And uh, as you can see here, we have a kind of a racing history. So we produce solar modules for solar racing cars. But now we're also producing a solar module to put on your car, on a normal vehicle. And that's for really the first time. For the first time, <laughs> and that's really <laughs> exciting. Um, yeah, so uh, I think we can show you something about uh, how that process goes and uh, how we integrated the modules. Yeah, so enjoy the video. Welcome in our workshop. Um, Danny is showing how we make a solar module. Um, as you can see here, there are some cells laying around upside down. So you see the underside of the solar cells. And uh, Danny is applying a conductive adhesive so we can connect the solar cells together so they will form a string. Um, he's applying this and later on we will apply these flexible interconnections to make it a full module. Um, after we've done this, uh, we will transfer the solar module uh, to this plate. Uh, and here are some um, uh, polymers in which we encapsulate the solar module together. So, uh, in fact, uh, with a, the machine we have here, we can glue all those layers together to protect the solar cells from moisture and from impact. Uh, and that is done under heat and a lot of pressure. Uh, so the, um, uh, all the layers of material glue together to make a good solar module. Danny is here uh, picking up the solar cells really carefully with uh, suction cups and he's uh, placing the solar cells onto the polymers which uh, apply the next coats on the solar module to make up for the full module. So this is the back sheet. The solar module is put into a laminator and a uh, solar laminator is a device uh, which heats up the entire laminate and the stack of polymers and also uh, in a vacuum, so there are no air bubbles inside uh, the solar module. The module stays in the solar laminator for about 15 minutes to make sure all the layers are glued together very well. Um, after the laminator, uh, it's placed on a plate um, and cooled down. And the cool down uh, takes about five minutes uh, and ensures all layers are solidified. Uh, and then we can uh, reveal the module as you can see here. After the module is finished, we were able to cut the module and we often cut this with a CO2 laser cutting uh, machine. And as you can see here, that follows the contours very nice. Um, and by using the laser cutter, we can also ensure that we have, uh, uh, we can cut out very nice shapes. Uh, for example, like we did uh, on the mo for the modules on the hood uh, of the car of Maarten and Renske.
all the solar panels are now installed on the car, the rooftop box, the rooftop tent and the hood. We are very happy with the result of Mito Solar. The solar panels on the car we will use to charge the additional battery in the car, uh, which we use to uh, give power to the, uh, to the fridge, but also to charge our laptops and also to our mobile phones and stuff. Uh, and also and when we are in a place uh, a little bit longer, uh, so uh, yeah, we, we don't drain the battery uh, of the car. Unfortunately, uh, it's not the best weather to test uh, the solar panels. Uh, we have uh, quite uh, some overcast clouds here uh, in the Netherlands today. Uh, but we will show it later when the sun is uh, more uh, bright, uh, what, how much uh, energy we can uh, 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 collect uh, with the solar panels. But that's something for uh, a next video.